Welcome. In this demo, we're going to walk through installing and configuring the CrowdCheck Falcon Endpoint integrations with the ServiceNow platform. When we head over to the ServiceNow store, you'll see there are two applications developed by CrowdStrike. Both of these applications provide integration to the ServiceNow incident management modules. If you're only interested in the creation of ITSM-based incidents, you can simply rely on the single application. However, if you're a user of the ServiceNow security operations module and you'd like to create security incidents, we'll also need to install the second application. Let's click into the details of one of these applications if you're in more depth. You can see at the bottom here there is also an installation guide, which I would recommend as you step through the installation process. Once you've installed this application in your ServiceNow instance, you can get started with the configuration process. I'll go to my ServiceNow instance where I've installed this application now. Upon successful installation of the application, you'll see there's a new item in the navigator called CrowdStrike Falcon Endpoint. The first thing we'll want to do is set up a configuration item for it. The configuration allows us to enter our query API credentials as well as modify other settings that control incident creation within ServiceNow. Let's start by entering a description, in this case we'll call it a demo. Next we'll enter our API credentials. An option we have available to us is the option to create incidents from historical detections. If you would like to retroactively create incidents from past detections in the Falcon platform, you can specify how far back you'd like to go in this setting. If, however, you would like to create incidents for new detections going forward, tap this to none. Now let's set up the object for incident creation. Selecting Create Incident will create new incidents in ITSM. If you install the Security and Operations module, you also see a box for Create Incidents within that module. Next, I have a severity filter. This filter will define the threshold at which CrowdStrike Falcon events will create new incidents. In this example, I'm defining that only CrowdStrike detections with severity level greater than low will have new incidents created for them. Next, the assignment group. This setting sets the group where new incidents are assigned. Field filtering allows us to specify fields from the alert that I did not want to be part of the ServiceNow incident table. Finally, the CMDB option allows us to create new CMDB records for the host name if one does not already exist for the host in question. Now we'll go ahead and verify our credentials. If I've entered valid credentials, I'll see a message at the top. As soon as we set this record, we'll start a new background task that will begin to consume all of our CrowdStrike alerts. Note from this screen, you can create multiple configuration items. This means that in a multi-tenant environment with multiple Falcon accounts, we can set this up to monitor all of those accounts. Now let's head over to the Detections tab. Each record in this table is representative of a Falcon alert that you would see in the Falcon user interface. If we want to drill down into the details of one of these alerts, we can go ahead and click on it. We see that all the data and attributes about this alert are logged within the ServiceNow record. We have the host name that the event occurred on, the severity of the alert, the time that the first behavior occurred, and also the last behavior. Lastly, we can see a link to the Falcon UI to view the alert. Let's go ahead and click it to investigate further. With a link back to the detection, an investigator can quickly jump to the record without having to manually search for it. From here, we can contain host and view the entire detection tree. Back in ServiceNow, we can also see that from the alert that a new incident has been created within ITSM. From the incident, you can see that the integration has populated several fields, including setting the category to security and subcategory to endpoint. We also have a link back to the CrowdStrike detection record in the case that your investigators use incident workflows in their investigations. This concludes the demo video. Please visit the integration page in the ServiceNow store for more information on setting up the integration in your instance.